being an entity shopper. Um, we wanted to do a session today about social enterprise um, and sort of show you a bit about how we approach it at the University of Sheffield. Um, I went to an event a while ago, I was not going to name the event when we were there, <laughs> but there was a lot of debate about whether social enterprise is something that can be put within the curriculum or not. And so I was going to get you guys to sort of help us debate that issue today. Um, we're going to show you a little bit about what we do at Sheffield, both within and outside of the curriculum. And then we're going to get you guys to bake here, and then at the end we're going to show you a sort of integrated approach that we've sort of organically developed over time, that we think kind of is a good approach, but it's up to you to tell us whether you think it is as well. Um, right, so this is a sort of extract from our mission statement at the University of Sheffield Enterprise. So, we're committed to working with staff and from our departments and the green subject to provide opportunities for every student to engage in enterprise education in the curriculum and to provide extracurricular opportunities for those students wanting to develop further. So we're very much focused now on what we can do within the curriculum. Maria, I'm going to tell you a bit more about what we do. Okay. So, um, basically the University of Sheffield um, Enterprise University of Sheffield has been with enterprise in different ways for the last 15 minutes. Um, at, at the same time, the University of Sheffield um, has a very clear civic um, mission. Um, and when the University of Sheffield Enterprise looked at the support we were providing to students and realized the extracurricular activity was really, really uh, good and reasonable, the curricular activity, uh, how enterprise what that was taught through the curriculum needed uh, some development. Well, taking into account that we had this civic mission, of course, it was one of our priorities when embedded enterprise in the curriculum to um, keep working with communities, keep working with social enterprises. So, extracurricularly, we have different things happening at the University of Sheffield. The University of Sheffield Social Innovation Program um, so basically, this is an extracurricular activity, students with uh, projects, very basic ideas um, that could be related to solve a community need, an environmental need, um, come uh, for three evenings and discuss at different uh, idea generations, meetings with uh, different people, and some training to further develop their ideas. Uh, in the end, there's an elevator pitch of them. The best ideas um, secure um, a pass to the accelerator. They will bring the accelerator. And those ideas, those students could be individual students or group of students, um, meet with business advisors, um, they have mentors, and uh, eventually some of them are eligible to, to, to apply for the uh, for a fund. Um, at the same time, uh, we work with several student societies, SAI, uh, Sheffield Entrepreneurs, and other societies that if they are not doing social enterprise, they are supporting uh, social enterprises in the community. Also, we do many side visits um, with the students, also we plan to do them with academics to uh, different social enterprises to further um, understand what, what's happening around the city. Um, of course, as you can see here, we, University of Sheffield, is one of the unlimited um, higher uh, education institution partners, and um, we will be um, getting the, the support from unlimited to further develop uh, our programs extracurricularly and curricular. So, embedding in the modules across subject matters. Basically, when we pair um, academics or groups of academics or departments, with external organizations, with businesses, our first focus is to partner, is to introduce them to social enterprises. So the students in the modules work on projects with social enterprises in collaboration, or we have social enterprises coming and doing some delivery in the modules. Um, we have now our study on um, module making ideas happen that Ali will explain to you later in more detail. Uh, we also have also a new initiative, Enterprise Teaching Companies, uh, in which academics, group of academics, um, create uh, with our support and support from other organizations to uh, enterprise teaching companies. These are social enterprises 
in which students, um, th these enterprises uh, are run based on a necessity that the academics think that could be, um, could be addressed. Through the, through the modules, using the students, the, the, the work that students do through the modules, and also for the students to further uh, learn how to manage a social enterprise. Um, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to get you straight into um, discussions and talking with each other. As I mentioned, I did go to an event where it was debated whether you could um, bring social enterprise into the curriculum or whether it should just be left to um, outside the curriculum to society such as like if students want to do it. Enterprise at Sheffield University. And so 
after discussion with us at ESA and discussion with Sai and discussion with 315, we actually passed this project on to Sai. And Sai are now taking this project forward. The project that they chose was the Green Ocean model. So the idea was that um, they'd be teaching the community how to grow their own food and then the food would then be brought to this cafe, this Green Ocean. There'd be, there'd be a small cafe where they'd be eating the vegetables and selling vegetables as well. And so that's now in the process of being developed by Shire Green. And I think it sort of demonstrates a sort of way in which we can do, we can try and do both. Um, I think I find it interesting that a lot of people have talked about standalone modules, and that's obviously what's happened here. But we kind of see our standalone modules as rich, and that we've actually like to, in five years' time, not have that module. At all, because at the moment there are students who can't take it. There are students in medicine and sciences where they're thinking and just so full they can't take this module. We'd really like to give everybody a chance to do something like this. So we kind of see it as a not the most sustainable way to do it. It's the best way at the moment that we've got to do it, but we're hoping that eventually we'll do ourselves out of a job and <laughs> we can um, persuade academics that it might be a worthwhile exercise. So I think that's sort of our case today. And if anyone's got any questions about that, um, I don't know whether we've got things to try. Uh, yeah, we'll take two. We'll take two from around the room quickly. Yeah, Frank, you've had a great success with this this year. And congratulations on that. And congratulations to Shire Green and the community for putting the money up and being brave enough to do it. Um, what are you going to do next year when there is no one to do that? But, Surely your students. Well, the SIFE the SIF team is a very, our SIFE team anyway, is a very self sustaining group. So even though the students are just constantly leaving, they're constantly passing over. But, but, so, what I'm trying to say is, where's the funding going to come from for them to then take the next project forward? Or is Shire Green going to fund every year? No, well, Shire Green not going to fund Yeah, this will become some sustainable. Yeah. It's not a project, it will be an analysis. Yeah. It won't be a project, it will be, be called an enterprise because the cafe will be. No, so for next year's business plan that gets selected as the best business plan, who has that and get funded and take the, the purpose of the module is not to fund. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the purpose of the module is to create a number of business plans that address a need of the, of the, of the community. Um, it's up to the community and it's also in the use also up to, to us to support project ideas. But um, I mean, we will, when, there's, when the community really thinks, because this is for the community, if the community thinks all those business platform questions are not good for them, then they're good for them. But the community thinks this is really good for us, we will work with the community to secure uh, other kind of funding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If anyone to come with that. And the Sponsor, so yeah. Guys, okay. we skip marketing conversations outside the room. Sai, you've got a great, I saw your hand quick, yeah, yeah, just, just quickly, quick so we'll one. fit that in a more okay. time. Thank, thank you. Um, uh, I'm a bit confused about how you, you are now going to take it from a standalone unit into something which is a bit more integrated, embedded. I, I, I sort of missed, missed that. Yeah, our sort of the approach at the moment is being. Obviously, we wouldn't necessarily expect academic to be developing whole new modules on this model. Mm. Um, we, we, kind of, we always take the approach of tweaking the existing modules. So we're trying to encourage academics to bring external partners in. Mm. Um, so, for example, we've got a, um, we're working with an academic in economics at the moment, we're working on um, urban economics at the moment, and we're actually he's going to be working with Sheffield City Council. Oh, okay. Um, so the word before you might be a textbook example or just say something of yourself. Yeah. You're actually bringing in an external partner. So it's just a small yeah. change, well, fairly small change in that mm. sense. Yeah. But okay. we're taking the... Yeah. So you're sort of taking the principle of it yeah. and sort of going exactly. back to academics and yeah. saying, why don't you consider doing this part of one of your modules? Yeah. Exactly. And on Sunday, I'm just thinking the piece of it. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. I think that's really